Good morning. It's a beautiful day. The week before Thanksgiving, the sun is shining. It's just blasting through the house, reflecting off the new fallen snow. You would think it was January because the temperatures have been in the single digits, but it's Thanksgiving, a time when we can be overflowing with praise for God and overflowing with God's love and power. I want to talk about overflowing today. The psalmist David, in Psalm 23, we know so well, after saying, even though we walk through the valley of the shadow of death or darkness, we shall fear no evil because he is with us. And it goes on to say that he's setting a banquet before our enemies. He's anointing our head with oil. Our cup overflows. Our cup, our life overflows with life. His life. His love. It's overflowing. So that goodness and mercy will be with us. His goodness and mercy. What an incredible thought. Overflowing. Sometimes life isn't so easy. In fact, we suffer grief from loss, loss of many kinds, loss of job, loss of health, loss of, of finances, loss of loved ones. And so Paul in 2 Corinthians begins the chapter saying, May the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of all comfort, the Father of compassion, comfort us in our trials and our losses so that we can comfort others. For just as the sufferings of Christ flow over into us, so do the comforts of God overflow, overflow into us. You see, when we are suffering, God is near and his love overflows into us. Oh yes, we may experience difficulties, but he and his love, his Holy Spirit's presence overflows, brings us comfort. This is a wonderful thing. And where else in Scripture do we read about overflowing? Perhaps my favorite verse in the New Testament, Romans 15, 13, says, May the God, may the God of all hope, and joy. The God of all peace and joy fill you with hope so that you may overflow with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. Overflow with hope. This is the season where we begin to think about Christmas. Perhaps the decorations are up too early already, but as we think about the advent of the coming Christ, the coming Savior, the one who would come to bring light in the darkness, we can be overflowing with hope. And that hope does not disappoint. That hope that flows within us, that makes us not thinking, oh, I hope it's going to be a good day, but the knowledge of those things unseen, the hope of our salvation, the knowledge that Christ is in us and overflowing us, his salvation is bringing healing, it's bringing strength, it's bringing counsel, it's bringing comfort. Oh yes, God is with us. He is overflowing with his love and hope, and he'll never leave us. Amen.